channel, Esoteric Cloud Network. In this, in this channel, we take Esoteric Clouds and what is an Esoteric Cloud? Esoteric Cloud is a cloud that is lighter in weight, lighter in frequency and vibration, and also less dense than the world that we are living in right now. So, when we take a ride on an Esoteric Cloud, we can float, we can float above our, our realm that we are living in right now and from up there we can take wiser conclusions we can take lighter conclusions we can perceive our life through a, a different perspective a, di a, di a different orb it gets filtrated through a different atmosphere so we can perceive it in a lot of different ways and from there we can change our life or we can go in the path that we are alre already are in but with, with a different perspective, with a different look and with uh, different uh, feelings as well. So today I want to talk about the moon. More specifically, more specifically what the moon represents in, in your natal chart. Alright, so I'm here in nature. I found a really cool spot in my town. A river. It's really cool out here. So, we have the sun. The sun represents your actions, represents uh, the things you like to pay attention to, it represents the things you like to be entertained by and what you like to entertain, it represents your ego. The moon is the opposite of the sun. The moon represents your reactions. The moon represents the things that you attract and manifest in your life. The moon represents the things that you make you comfortable. The moon represents your emotional mind, your intuitive mind. If the brain represents the left brain, the left brain, the moon represents the right brain. So it's more feminine. It's about receiving. It's about catching feelings. It's about it's about holding in to your feelings and emotions. All right. So. The moon is the things that make you feel comfortable. The things that you like to rest on. The sun is the things that you, you like to act upon. The moon is the things that you are in that space and you are in that frequency and vibration and you feel comfortable. You feel at home. You feel safe. The moon is also your soft spot. Is the thing that your sun, your solar plexus tries to protect. Okay. Also, the moon is spiritually is where you come from. Like before you came into this body, you as a spirit were uh, resonating with a specific frequency and vibration, somewhere on the um, broader space, on the bi bigger space, on the bigger picture, and then you create your sun for you to experience this reality but before you created your sun you were somewhere else so your moon sign represent where you were before where you came from that's why you feel comfortable because you already was you already were experiencing that frequency and vibration all right so the moon is like an empty shell is like a substance that you left when you came to this realm, when you came to this reality and the sun is the light that protects that space is the light that you shine upon others to protect your moon, to protect your soft space because if anyone tries to peek on your soft space if anyone tries to say that the things that you are like the things that you are comfortable with are not uh, so good or they are lame or they, they don't they do not benefit you you will not act with your moon you will act with your sun but in behalf of your moon trying to protect your moon okay and one one uh, very important aspect of your moon is your manifestations your manifestation power comes primarily from the moon all right because if you don't if you do not feel comfortable if you do not resonate with with a certain frequency you will not manifest it you will oppose it 
you will create another uh, frequency and vibration, you will create another uh, thinking, another uh, device, another spaceship to go against it. It's a satanic thought because what is satanic, sa Satan is just an opposing. It's not a demon, it's not uh, anything that the religious, the religion aspect tries to tell us. A, sa a, sa a satanic thing is just a thing that opposes. All right. So the moon represents the things that you are comfortable. So it represents the things that you like to manifest in your life, the things that you attract more. All right. Also, the moon reveals your psychic abilities, your psychic powers. For an example, if you have an air moon, you are, or you have the potential to be a telepath. If you have an uh, Earth Moon, you, you, you have the, the possibility, you have the potential to have um, psychometry, telemetric. Basically, the, is when you touch things, you receive all of the information about those things. Okay? Also, the Moon represents your feminine side. The things that you receive, the things that you hold on into yourself. Okay, and the moon rules cancer, so that tells us that the moon is very much about emotions, feelings, family, what is comfortable to us, things that you, we are already used to do, it's not uh, uh, going into a new place, it's not going to uh, an uncomfortable place, because new means uncomfortable, unknown means uncomfortable, so the moon, it's things that you already know, things that you are, are already comfortable with, things that you are, are already have experienced, and you are bringing it into this world to remind you what you are, what you were, what are you here to do, but more like to feel, what are you here to receive, that's your moon. Also, the moon is exalted in Taurus, so that means that if you get too much fixated, if you get too much stable on one feeling, on one emotion, you will exhaust your moon. Your moon represents what you are comfortable, but remember that as a spirit, you expand by experiencing new things, you expand by going into unfamiliar places. So if you get too attached to your moon, you will not expand, you will not grow, because the moon is where you came from. So if you stay on that space too much, you will not learn anything new, you will not be able to grow, because you already did that. You are, it's, a, it's something that it serves as a resting place, as you, it serves as something to know what you already did. So now it's time to do different things. Also, the moon falls in Scorpio, so that means if you are emotionally unstable, if you try to hide your emotions, if you try to, if you try to hide what is comfortable to you, you will not uh, be your true self, you will not be comfortable with yourself. So you have to find a balance here. You cannot be too fixated on what's comfortable to you, but also you cannot be unstable on that. So you will experience things, but not in your own way, not with your comfortable space, alright? So, also the moon is a frequency and vibration, is a space where you go to rest. Like you are out here experiencing the world, you are pushing out your light with your solar plexus, you are pushing out your thoughts with your Mercury, you are correlating, you are loving things with your, with your Venus, you are being passion, you are fighting with your Mars, but then you get tired, or you are too uncomfortable in a new place. Then you go to your moon, you go, you, talk, you, go, you go to your comfortable space. So you can take all of the information of the new experiences, you take all of the new feelings, all of the new ideas, and you go home, you go to your room, and you rest now. Now you are safe, now you feel safe to see what's good for you, what serves you, what does not serve. So it's very important to uphold, to defend and to protect your own space. Alright, so don't go and share your moon 
uh, what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel loved with everybody. You have to choose people that, that are in your frequency, that are in your frequency and vibration as well. Also because if you don't feel comfortable with yourself, you will not manifest anything for yourself. You may be manifesting, but for someone else's desires, for someone else's ideas, for someone else's feelings and emotions. Okay? So, to conclude, the moon represents your feminine side, your mental, emotional, psychic, your inward ability to think and to feel. It represents the mystery, my story, mystery. It represents what you receive, how you feel, how, how you hold on to your feelings, how you hold on to yourself, how you like to be comfortable, where you like to be comfortable, who you like to be comfortable with, the things that you like to do when you are by yourself, when you are on your own space of rest, of comfort, alright? So, go and see where, in which house your moon is, which sign, which moon sign you are on, and that will tell you what is comfortable to you, what you like to manif like, or what you manifest more easily, what you manifest by default. All right. And also, the moon reveals to you things that you cannot see with your eyes, because that is the sun. The sun is the things that you perceive in the world, but. For you to perceive things outside of, of yourself, you need some, some kind of light to reflect upon it. The moon is more about your first eye, your inner eye, the things that you perceive inside of you, because inside of you there is no light. And imagine, you, you may be looking, looking at an object or to someone, and the light of that person, the exterior of that person, it seems one thing, but in reality, the thing that produces that light, the spirit, it's a com it can be a completely different thing. And the moon makes you, uh, gives you the ability to perceive things behind the light. Because light comes from somewhere else. There are things that come before the light. There are things that are in first place, then the light. So the moon... If you are in resonance with your moon frequency and vibration, you will not be blind by the light of the world and by the light of others. You can really see others by, by what they really are and not what they want you to see what they are. The moon makes you see the real things, not the things of the world. The moon uh, uh, makes you not be lost in the physical. Your moon makes you feel that there are things that the physical can't explain, that the, ex the, that the external world cannot explain because it's only the physical. For the sun, for the light, it's only the physical. While for the moon, it's also the physical but much more. Behind the veil. The moon reveals what is behind the veil. Alright? Also, see what, uh, how your moon sign and your sun sign if they are a square, if they make uh, opposition, any conjunction, and that tells you how you act upon your emotions, how you react to your actions and to others' action. But it's very important to see behind the veil with your moon, to see how you really feel about things, not how others make you feel, how you think you feel, how you perceive the world, because the world is what it is and the moon helps you reveal the true nature of things, the true spiritual nature of things, okay? The moon makes you comfortable with your own emotions, makes you comfortable with others' emotions. The moon makes you comfortable with mystery, with things that cannot be perceived with, the, with these two eyes, okay? So, take care of yourselves, be aware of the tidal waves, but remember that the tidal waves are the most ones to surf and good esoteric ridings, good esoteric surfings and see you in the real realm. Take care.